would happen. And in 2014, when Theresa May changed the law, the Labour Party as a party abstained on that legislation. But eight of us, including Jeremy Corbyn, John McDonald, and myself, voted against it. So don't tell me you're apologising when you consciously knew what you were doing because you were warned by myself and others. And the other thing to say about the Windrush generation and how they've been treated, you know, what it shows is the way that Theresa May really regards that generation and our community in this country. And you know, they thought they could get away with it. They thought nobody would care if they wished to come back. And also, the government ought to compensate them. Because think what it means. You're separated. hostility looks like. Yes. Where people who have been here for decades are told to prove that they are a citizen, that they are guilty of being illegal until they can prove otherwise. That's that terrible. Terrible. And the reason we shouldn't be palmed off with this is because there is a concern, I have a concern, that the Windrush generation, this new national treasure, who knew <laughs> that we'd be up there with the Queen Mum? Yeah. Um, you know, a whole lot of Danes as a new national church, so that we will be separated as being the worthy immigrants, which suggests that there are unworthy immigrants for whom this hostility is okay. That what Theresa May is effectively saying is the hostility was not meant for you, it was meant for them. Oh, <laughs> well, I don't want to live in a country yeah. that is hostile That's right. to immigrants. That's right. That's right. Trevor's own experience of um, how the whole racist system and the aggressive tactics of the immigration and the home office and how it's affected him. I don't have a similar story as Trevor, but I am also a firstborn of the Windrush generation. My grandmother came to the UK in 1955. My dad came in 1957. My grand mother's brother he served in world war one so for me to see that what is happening this year in 2018 that's affecting people from the jamaica the caribbean and the other commonwealth countries that they were invited here to fill gaps in the labor market everything that you have here all you multicultural people in brixton is out of my generation <laughs> When I speak about my generation, water come to my eyes. It's a real, real thing.